a new feature added to Suite 6.2 is multiple configurations. This was added to allow for different sources, output requests and frequency loops to be solved together in the same model. For this demo we will use a simple model consisting of three dipoles acting as an isotropic probe. We see under construct in the tree the dipoles listed as well as their ports. By default a standard configuration is listed under configurations in the tree. If we click on the configuration tab in the tree we see the loads listed. By activating the port annotations we can see the setup more clearly in the 3D view. All three loads are presently set to zero loading, except for a series inductor. The value of L series can be seen under variables. We will also later use the R0 variable set to 40. There are presently no output requests set. We are firstly interested in the coupling between the dipoles so we add a multiport S-parameter request. All three ports are used and the characteristic impedance for this S-parameter calculation will be R0. We can rename the S-parameter request to SPR0. We see that CADFICO has automatically changed the configuration into a S-parameter configuration. We can rename this configuration as shown. Renaming the S-parameter configuration is convenient but not necessary. We also want to compute far fields for each dipole, while loading the other dipoles with the source impedance. For this we will add three more standard configurations. S-parameter configurations are only allowed to have a S-parameter request, while characteristic mode configurations are only allowed to contain a characteristic mode request and no sources. We rename the first standard configuration to dipole 1. In this configuration, only dipole 1 will be active while the remaining dipoles will be loaded. We see in the tree under configuration a global group and a configuration specific group. Items listed under global are applied over all configurations, while items listed under configuration specific are only executed under the specific configuration. Presently the loads and frequency band settings are listed under global, but we want different frequencies calculated for the individual dipoles compared to the S parameters. So we click on configuration settings and there enable frequency per configuration. This moves the frequency setting from global to configuration specific. We also enable loads per configuration. This moves the loads also into the configuration specific section. And we do the same for sources. Sources are presently not specified. For the individual dipole radiation pattern calculation, we will calculate the patterns only at specific frequencies, so we change the frequency to linearly spaced discrete points as shown. Dipole 1 will be active, so we add a voltage source to the port on dipole 1. The port impedance is of course R0. We also request a 3D far field pattern. We label this pattern Gain 3D. Dipole 1 will be active, so it does not require a load. Dipole 2 and 3, however, will be loaded with a source impedance R0 to correctly represent the EM environment in which they operate. We will do the same for dipole 2 and dipole 3, so we duplicate the configuration for dipole 1 as shown. For each additional configuration, 
we must of course set the appropriate loading and voltage source. For example, for the dipole 3 configuration, dipole 3 will be the active dipole. Therefore dipole 3 is not loaded, while the other two dipoles are loaded. The voltage source is applied to port 3. So we have the three configurations, each exciting one dipole at a time and computing its radiation pattern. Lastly, for the S-parameter configuration, there is no far field request set. And as stated, no user-defined sources are allowed in the S-parameter configuration. Next we solve the model and then run PostVeco. We see the model name listed in the project browser. Under the model browser menu, we see the different configurations listed. Presently, the far field icon is not available. This is due to the active configuration, namely the SPR0 configuration. If we change the configuration to, for example, dipole 1, the far field is available for viewing. Similarly, we can view the far fields as radiated by the second and third dipole with the passive dipoles loaded by selecting the appropriate configuration. To view the S parameters on our Cartesian graph, we simply select the correct configuration under the S matrix drop down menu. The voltage sources listed only provide S11 derived from the source data. This concludes the demonstration. For help in setting up your own models, feel free to contact us.